this on the mic. Um, hello, hello, new channel, uh, Luna Do. Um, basically another channel on YouTube that's gonna create content. Uh, what type of content? I'm gonna branch off, do different content, do maybe reactions, different things. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just create content of a certain type. Now, if you recognize the name Lunar Dew, great, you're awesome. If you recognize uh, my logo, icon, whatever you call it, you're awesome. It actually comes from an old RPG. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, Shining Force Legacy of Intentions. Now, I'm not gonna tell you which one. You gotta do your own homework on that one. Like I said earlier, this channel is for just creating content of a specific type. I'm being a little broad because I don't wanna talk about it in the pilot. You know, right after this and another video, I'm gonna go straight into one of the subjects that I'm gonna talk about. This is more like me just laying down the groundwork. But this channel, what makes it important or what makes it important to me at least. If you can't tell by my voice, I'm a man. And if you can't tell by everything I said up to now, I'm a black nerd. Uh, essentially, yeah, I'm a, I'm a black nerd. You would think like being on YouTube, different things like that. Oh yeah, you can say that with a lot of confidence. You can say that with certain things and that's what this channel is for, representation. There are a lot of issues and different things that still go on in the nerd community. And when you add just being black or a minority, it makes the situation a lot more complex. You see, you can be a nerd or a geek, but it depends on who you are as a nerd and a geek and what's your setup and your connections. If you're just someone who has these hobbies and you're not a specific type of person, it's actually a lot harder. Believe it or not, in some cases, you have to fight almost as hard as <laughs> a, a type of race or something like that. Because essentially being a geek and nerd is a culture yeah it's becoming more accepting or acceptable to different types of people but at the same time there are still stereotypes to it you know especially when you're black and stuff like that you know for every king of lightning we have an edp 40 edp whatever there are memes about him the dude who was going around trying to holler at young girls i don't know why i really don't know why i don't care to know why maybe something's wrong to dude that's why representation is important. I might just talk about that, but that's why representation is important. At the end of the day, being a black nerd, geek, whatever, adds another layer of complexity just to the normal nerd stuff. You're seen as a demasculate man, or because you're not willing to do certain things, it's harder for you to prove your masculinity, not just to women, but to men as well. And oftentimes, you know, you get you get taken advantage of or they attempt to take advantage of you. And there's proving ground. You literally have to prove certain things sometimes. People don't say, oh, you're you're a respectable member of society because you're in, you know, it's still something that in the soup of diversity or salad of diversity, people still have a problem except. But again, like I said, it's almost like its own culture. But that's why representation is important because it. it you would think, okay, you should be able to just be a geek and nerd and not talk about these things, and it will show for itself. Sometimes. However, that leaves out a lot of things, a lot of issues, as well as problems in between. There are certain people who can't watch and read certain things. For example, My Hero Academia almost got canceled for one of its character names. <laughs> uh, certain shows cannot be shown in certain countries. You know, there are different things that kind of contribute to it. Now, I'm in America, and luckily for now, there's not too much censorship and things like that. There are still problems. <laughs> there are still a lot of problems within the geek nerd community, especially when you're black. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, there have been a lot of content creators that are actually minorities who have done a very good job at just creating content, doing certain things. But I still feel like, no, I know that there are still things that need to be talked about. And that's what this channel is to do, to add one more perspective to all these different things that happen. It's not that these channels did anything wrong or did anything bad, but I know that they're leaving some stuff out. And it's for the sake of either entertainment or other things. Now, I don't expect this channel to really take off the ground, but I do plan on talking about certain things, certain subjects, uh, mainly because it is still yeah, seen as a problem. You know, aside from being demasculine in certain things or seen as demasculine in certain things, it's, it's a lot of family issues and problems and social problems still that people don't want to talk about. 
and especially when you're a black geek minority whatever because if you're all those things stacked upon people see you enjoying yourself doing little things and you know they fought for that but at the same time they're like uh if i had to work my ass off why do you get to play and they see it as immaturity or you're wasting your time sometimes they're right and a lot of times they're wrong you know what you enjoy what you do with your life especially as an adult that helps you go towards happiness it's none of their business at the end of the day you know if you're not doing anything that's toxic or unhealthy then you should be fine you know the pursuit of happiness at the end of the day but like i said earlier a lot of channels and content creators who are who are minorities essentially but are nerds and are are into unique things don't talk about or aren't aware of certain problems and i'm cool with the ones who are unaware it's not on them but again that makes this channel that much more important at least to me and at least to other people who have these problems but don't want to talk about it for the sake of compromise so at the end of the day the, uh, this channel has a few main things and reasons why it exists um number one addressing and opening door to uncomfortable conversations to give a perspective and work towards a solution so basically covering these subjects it's, it's like progressive pain and at times, there are hard pills to swallow, but most of the good medicine is bitter at the end of the day. Or the old medicine, growing pains. You, you gotta get through and just talk about certain things. And as I kind of said earlier, not even much earlier, it's just that I see some avoidance or some bob and weave. But when it comes to these issues, you gotta address them because it, it gets used against you when you don't say anything and it really can be used against you. You know, why didn't they can turn around and say, well, why didn't you say anything? You allowed me to do this. Now it just sounds like you're complaining. And again, I get it for the compromise, but certain things now that we're becoming more, uh, more of a better society or at least emulating uh, a better society, we got to talk about when I address these subjects, I will make time for grievances in gray areas. Uh, grievances essentially are just uh, th when I talk about certain subjects, I'm going to try to separate my personal experience and different things into videos following, depending on the, either the subject or the video. Uh, the gray areas are going to be where I'm overreaching. I don't have experience, but I still do want to talk about the subject. I kind of put a ring around it or whatever. It, again, it's kind of sounds confusing a little right now, but as I do it, the process will show itself. This video in itself is kind of like a mix of all of them. Uh, the well the main videos are going to be called the gristle just the main parts so number two is actually helping misunderstood geeks and nerds uh find answers and come to their own conclusions about things so you know by opening up and talking about certain in particular subjects people mm, and grown adults hopefully can come to understand things even if they don't agree to if, even if they don't agree to them a uh, functioning healthy adult who may not agree with you what well, depends on the subject who may not agree with you can still come to their own conclusion or you know their perspective can evolve that's actually important and that's why representation and talking about these things are important because the people who like peace and silence but don't want you to talk about your problems but you know they kind of want to talk about theirs it, it doesn't lead to peace it doesn't help with certain things and in reality it's not healthy um like i said earlier there are channels that kind of already do this on certain subjects and i'm going to cross over and talk about those subjects as well but i feel like they kind of cut it too short and it does effectiveness and any more good that could have came from it uh so there are gray areas and there are certain subjects that are taboo for a reason but at the end of the day if you don't explain why in some cases again talking representation communication then the reason why these things are taboo are not supposed to be talked about they seem silly it, it leads to just confusion so every now and then certain subjects that are revived or from the past that need to be talked about do need to be talked about do need to be addressed at the end of the day so uh number three energize the circuit i think i could have came up with a better name for that but what i mean by that is so anything alive healthy has good circulation 
humans have a certain circulation and when it and numbers for it and when it falls below they die they're dead poor circulation you're dead the same thing can be true about relations and conversations and relationships you know that energy between you you can have a relationship with someone but if something happens to your brain or you get an aneurysm or something happens out goes that mental energy out goes that spiritual energy you know there can be things that connect you in between still but it's mostly spiritual mental energy and when it comes to a lot of these subjects talking about it well them and circulating them through will create health will bring light to and humility and humanity to these things again a lot of, a lot of these subjects people can't accept because they can't see the humility in them or because they can't see the perspective for what it is they've been taught things a certain way like like I said in point two, and one of the things that they can't do is because it's not their problem, well, really put humility to it, you know. But if you expose, talk about it, cover certain corners, they'll realize, okay, while this isn't my problem, I can at least understand it, you know. And it's the tough conversations, it's the uncomfortable conversations where at the end of the day, that's where they need the most humility and humanity. Like, again, people do talk about certain things, but they always go for the toxic. They always go for the jugular. I, that's not the goal. I don't want to shame people. I want people to learn and be accountable and grow. And, you know, even the people within, like, the black nerd community. Because, like, we got some issues. We got some problems. But, you know, there's a lot to learn. You know, that's why certain issues aren't black issues. They're civil issues uh, at the end of the day. Uh, so, in the past, uh, a lot of compromises were made on certain subjects and issues and bringing humility and light to them can help us understand why um, some sides took more liberties than other you know why i don't know but people kind of had compromises back then for certain subjects because they didn't want to infringe on one or another and they were like okay this is the spot where this stops this is you know this is where we draw the line so that we can get along because at the end of the day we want to be people we want to be good people we want to be a community so here's where we draw the line cool but as time has passed uh, certain things things on the side of those lines or the line itself could have faded or things have changed so they need to be talked about again a lot of stuff that's old and you know like i said revived so that's to be talked about but it's good it's it's not bad it's just toxic because some people are seen as toxic or muddy because some people cover certain things you know that way now like i said when it comes to some stuff i talk about i'm gonna bring the heat i, I am but it's not at the end of the day about you're you're the worst type of person you're shameful you're this that and the other no i'm giving out a perspective if you want to listen cool you know you have an option to click on these videos or anything of that nature i'm not forcing you i'm not stopping you from clicking off and going into another tab and doing something else i don't control you but i'm going to present my perspective and talk about these subjects and when I bring on the heat, it's not about being toxic. Now, I'm like I said, at the end of the day, I know that people have brought made certain things toxic at the end of the day. And in with some cases, instead, they just go into the curve and they're like, yeah, I'm toxic. But it's the only way to talk about it because no one wants to really talk about or deal with certain subjects. And when you kind of give a clear cut perspective, it makes it harder for people to be ignorant about it or ignorant about certain things. Uh, that being said, I actually plan to create this channel years ago uh three years ago to be exact but i had to do other things do different things in my life school get different things straight and as a result uh this channel is actually late however i am actually glad to see that there are channels up talking about doing certain things kind of like i hinted towards earlier however like i said some of them stopped short or they talked about certain things now the channels that i'm aware of that are talking about certain subjects and that i'm aware of of like i know i'm gonna include hint towards and talk about but if we have some of the same messages and talk about some of the same things i wouldn't be surprised uh, i'm saying that hey in the comments if it sounds like something else let me know or give me a link or something because it's not like i'm trying to copy anyone but i was surprised that when i did talk about certain subjects or well when i started doing research for certain subjects i i saw 
that other people had created videos and stuff like that but again i did see things missing in perspective so i saw my perspective <laughs> missing in some of these videos and some of these things talked about so again representation in this complex society that's really what this channel is about but at the same time i wouldn't be surprised uh converging theorem whatever people come to the same conclusion yeah i mean if the deal is we gotta cross this river you're either gonna build a bridge use a boat or use some type of trolley to get across if you gotta climb the mountain you're gonna use some leverage device carve some stairs use some rope whatever it takes to get to the top of the mountain and a lot of societies that are not even connected have done things similar ways and there are simple tools for each different society that started up so yeah i wouldn't be surprised that even though i haven't heard of certain people i might say or have things similar to them you know you sit around and you deal with some of the same problems you're gonna have some of the same stuff however i don't mind but if it sounds a lot like someone else you know let me know because but when i talk about these subjects i'm bringing the heat i'm talking about certain things and that's all this pilot episode is is to establish what this channel is about and re in reality when people look back and i talk about certain things i'm like hey i kind of explained what this channel is for and at least what i'm going to do in the first part of it uh this is lunar dew well <laughs> this is Otler with lunar dew sounding out you heard it here first guys go to commercial go to commercial